Hello, this is Evan Rogerson, and I'm Motor Gang here, and today we're going to be breaking down the new Guide to Judging update, the August Guide to Judging update. Now, there's a couple little uh, silly things with this update. This is actually the second Guide to Judging update to drop today, as this is the first version. Um, it's not, like, up anywhere. I saved it, and as you can see, uh, some of the stuff's a little uh, wonky with it. Um, you cannot select the text properly, and there are some other issues with it, so this dropped for, like, a couple hours earlier on in the day. And uh, it's kind of a mess. You can see, like, if I try and select any of the text, and then I try and, like, paste it, um, it just kind of completely freaks out on you. Um, some other people were having some uh, significantly worse issues than I was. Um, so some interesting things happened. Um, and Control-F also did not work. So, like, if I type in J, uh, there are Js in the document. I, I don't know where these Js are. Uh, but if you try, like, judging, uh, there's nothing there. So, freaked out, but uh, I emailed the judging committee, and they actually got it fixed, like, within a couple of hours. So, like, honestly, massive W for them for, like, getting this fixed on, like, the middle of the night, because it would have been after work hours. Um, so, like, really cool that they did that. And we will not be reviewing that version. We have the newer version, but I want to keep this as a little funny little artifact. Although I can never understand how the judging committee would ever uh, publish an unfinished or buggy product. As a computer programmer, I just couldn't ever see myself doing that and never have done that in the past myself. But uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe in order to please the YouTube algorithm. And let's get to it. So yeah, uh, as always, we have the new version on the right, old version on the left. So first thing is just completely new rule, uh, JR7. And basically this says that if you do naughty things during the tournament, get yourself some code of conduct violations, you can get in trouble and no judged awards for you. Um, this was already like in here in like G1 and G2, but I mean, it doesn't hurt to reiterate it. So I don't have any strong opinions about this, probably slightly positive, like it doesn't hurt to have. Um, next up we have another thing, they updated to JT5, um, basically, this is the destroy all of the judging stuff after the event, and it says this includes any digital copies of notebooks that have been downloaded. So judge downloads your notebook for remote judging. They need to make sure they delete it at the end of the event. Um, this is already something you were supposed to do because you're already supposed to destroy all judging materials, but like there's absolutely zero way to enforce this. So like people who are going to break the rules are going to break the rules anyway, but like I suppose it's a good thing to have. Again, I don't really have any super strong opinions about this update. It's just mildly positive in every way. Like, I suppose this is a good thing to have. Um, next up, they added this part. So because an engineering notebook is considered a living document throughout the season, it is natural for there to be some evolution in how teams document their design process. Teams should refrain from going back and editing or replacing old entries or presenting new versions of past content, such as special edition notebooks for a specific event. This notebook should be written in parallel with the design process it is documenting. Um, so basically, don't backdate, which is interesting because there was a Q&A a couple of years ago that said, like, we can't stop you from backdating, so it's technically legal. Obviously, you can't really compare between events because all the evidence is supposed to be destroyed, so there's, like, zero way that you can fact-check any of it. So, I don't know. Again, like, all of the top notebooking teams do not do this. They go back and they backdate. I know people who have won major judged awards, including at Worlds, that go back and, like, redo their notebooks partway through the season, especially with digital notebooks. It wasn't a thing back when physical notebooks were big. Um, but with digital notebooks, that's just what teams do anyways. So, again, it doesn't really do anything because there's no real way to enforce this. Next up, they also have EN4. Um, no using large language models in addition to artificial intelligence, which... LLMs are AI. Um, that was actually told to me in one of my computer science classes that I was taking earlier today. Um, big brain stuff right there. But yeah, this is basically like saying no squares slash rectangles allowed when like squares are rectangles anyway. So this literally changes nothing. Um, and yeah, I'm guessing it's because of like this form thread where people were like, what if I make my own LLM? And it's just like, no, please do not do that. That is bad for so many reasons. Yeah, EN10. They also changed EN9, the one above this, but that was just formatting. I didn't see anything actually that changed anything. Um, 
So basically, I do like this. This is probably the best change in the whole thing. Instead of saying appendices are not judged, it now says appendices provide supporting content to clarify engineering notebook content, but judges are under no obligation to read them as part of the engineering notebook judging process. Um, so really nice. It makes it, makes it clear, like, judges aren't going to go through and probably use these for, like, grading things, but, like, you should, for things like the Think Award, reference the code in the back of the appendices. Um, this was already kind of in the Q&As, but just having it really clear that, like, yes, appendices are judged. They're just probably not going to be given the same level of scrutiny as the rest of the notebook. That's a good change, I think. So, uh, yeah, I mean, they kind of clear some of the stuff further down, like specific updates or key milestones related to programming should still be included as part of engineering notebooks. Like, have your code in the back multiple times and, like, reference it. You could probably do, like, internal hyperlinks to reference it that way it's there and that's cool and then yeah all the entries in the appendices should include the names of students utilizing or adding this information to the appendices as well as the date and methods of how this information was accessed so like put the date that you put the thing in it and date access that's not in the other citations thing i wish they had all the citation spot in one information but it's spread out so basically the way i do my notebook is in the appendix in the back i have like date i have like the citation stuff that has all the stuff in the student center guidelines and then when i put the image like a picture of the game manual in my notebook i'm like picture taken by evan from source one on this date um just to kind of make it extra clear that this is proper citation it's better to have more citation information than not enough because you never know when you'll get a stricter judge or whatever um next up i mean another good thing they say that remote judging should occur within two weeks of the start of the event um, unless an extension is authorized and opposed to just soon TM. So again, not really a big thing there. I've never, like I've done remote judging a couple of times, both from like the hosting and the competitor perspective. And other than Worlds, I've never seen it more than two weeks, I don't think. So that's pretty standard anyways. But I, I am curious because in one of the um, judging Q&As that I asked, they did say that they were going to have a different process for Worlds judging this year so that you're not submitting your notebook like, three months out in advance for worlds i doubt it'll be two weeks because like they can get extensions but like and worlds kind of does their own thing with judging anyways but like it's good to know that things will be closer because it does get kind of awkward when you have a robot that you didn't have any documentation of because you rebuilt the month prior to the competition although this wouldn't stop me because i have built entire robots and taken them to competitions all in the span of two weeks before um multiple times actually and finally, we do have a change to the engineering notebook rubric, um, just that content for the originality and quality. So content is kept relevant information and all content not original to the team longer than a paragraph is in an appendix um, instead of just all cited content. So I'm not exactly sure what the difference is there. I guess if you're citing stuff from yourself for previous years, maybe, or I'm not entirely sure. I don't think it really changes much. Um, anyways, uh, thanks for sticking around to the end. Not a whole lot of interesting stuff, just mildly positive. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe in order to please the YouTube algorithm, and I will see you in the next one.